<laughs> hey, uh, hey, check out this video. This lady crazy, yo. How much does he have to make? Yeah, he has to make three thousand five hundred and seventy-eight million dollars a month. What? What will you be bringing to the table? I can twerk. Twerk, and I have twerk. a thong in every color. Girl, okay. what's your employer's name? No, I'm unemployed. I don't work. Mm. Can you cook ramen noodles? Oh, in cereal, the hot, the hot cereal, like oatmeal. Not like oatmeal. What's four plus four? Yeah, I've been single for a while. Yeah, we can tell. So, what did she say oatmeal? And four plus four is. <laughs> oh, back to the things that I could cook. Um, I forgot to uh, add salads. I can make a good salad, girl. It's eight. The answer is eight. So do you think you have anyone available that meets my criteria? Your criteria? That's what I said. No. I'm quite sure it's someone. It isn't. That makes that much no. money. It, um, it isn't. No. Okay, well, you just let me know. You have my number. We won't. <laughs> let me know. Hey, let me tell you something. I don't know who, who this lady is. If you know her, tag her in the video below. Tag her. She did a great job of this. And let me tell you something. A lot of men and a lot of women are passing up on their husbands and their wives because these men that they find that have an interest in them, these women that have an interest in them do not fit into your cookie cutter mold of what you want. You got a man right now who 5'9", and if you call him right now with you being stuck on the side of the highway, the man will come and change your tire for free. He will get up out the bed at 12 o'clock at night and come and change your tire on the side of the highway. But that couldn't possibly be your husband because he 5'9". What? What? You got this woman who checks in on you every day when you at work, making sure you're spiritually, mentally, physically healthy. But she couldn't possibly be your wife because she don't cook. And she ain't got a cookbook. She couldn't be your wife. Because what's on the list, on the list says that, you know, my preference is a woman who cooks. So this woman couldn't be my wife because she don't cook. This man is sitting here. He's willing to help you with them babies you got. He dating you. He bringing you McDonald's. Oh, you got two kids at home. He show up to the day. He got McDonald's for the two kids. He throwing you money so you can get the kids food. But he ain't got six inches in his pants. So it couldn't be your husband. Oh, oh. It, 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 that could not be your husband. My list it says he's got to be at least six foot and have at least six inches in his pants. So if he don't got six inches in his pants, that ain't my husband. That ain't, he ain't my husband. No, oh, no. He got to have that and some other things. You know, that's my husband. You know? And then I get online and then I talk to people. I'm like, hey, have you ever met a man like this? No, nope, I never met, I met a man like that. Oh, so you looking for a unicorn, huh? Yeah, you looking, you just gonna hold out. You just, you're not gonna settle until you get that man. Yeah, okay. And how old are you? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm, -hmm. mm and, and that that woman, that woman, right? Yeah, the woman, uh, uh, yeah, you know, on your list, you said she gotta be under, under 200 pounds. And this young lady, she's just, you know, 205, still going to the gym, working on it. Couldn't possibly be your wife. Couldn't, yeah, yeah. She couldn't be your wife. She couldn't be your wife. I'm looking at the list. I'm looking at the list right here. And it says that my wife, my preference is that she has to be under 200 pounds. Hold on, hold on. Let me look. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
200 pounds, 200 pounds. Yeah, couldn't possibly you be your wife. Yeah, yeah, that ain't her, that ain't her. And I want to let you know that a lot of y'all are acting just like that. That man or woman can have four or five of the qualities that you're looking for, have the foundational principles, y'all agree on foundational principles, have three or four of your preferences, but your sheet got 10 preferences on it. So because they don't meet the other six preferences, they, they couldn't possibly be your wife. They couldn't possibly be your husband. Yeah, okay, keep daydreaming. Keep daydreaming. I said this before in a lot of my videos. Listen, you only meet so many good people in your life. I'm telling you. Fellas, you only gonna meet so many good women. And women, you're only gonna meet so many good men. So when you constantly are passing up on these people for your preferences, I understand you got your preferences. You allowed to have your preferences, but some of y'all need to let some of them preferences go. Cause you got a man right in front of your face that will love you, will care for you, will provide for you, will wake up at 12 o'clock at night to go fix your tires, take your car to the shop to get the oil changed, buy your flowers, kiss you when he leaves the house. He willing to do all of those things. But because he doesn't meet one or two of your preferences, because he not six foot, because he don't make six figures, couldn't possibly be my husband. Fellas, you got a woman that's checking on you mentally, spiritually, physically. She's making sure you're good. You're doing things that makes her upset. But guess what? She's pushing it to the side because she's trying to be your peace. She's allowing you to lead. She knows how to communicate. She uses a soft, gentle voice with you. She ain't yelling and screaming at you. She ain't busting out your window. She's not scratching up your car. She's not keying your car. She's not doing none of that. Bro, but it couldn't possibly be my wife because she only meets three of my preferences. We agree on the foundational thing, but those three preferences, she just don't match it. Couldn't be my wife. A lot of y'all are missing out on your husband. And a lot of y'all are missing out on your wives.